All right. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to give everyone a quick update on our weather that's teasing the Saks area on this August 1st, 2021. And first day of uh, August and I was going to say the first day of summer but it's not the first day of summer. Uh, it's been hot those last couple of days feel like the first day of summer. Not a typical August day that is for sure. Rain, thunderstorms, severe thunderstorm warnings. So we have a current warning in effect for Dallas County, part of Denton County, part of Collin County uh, until Oh gosh, six o'clock. So this is nothing to be terribly concerned about, mainly for wind. You might see some small hail. Uh, we had some bigger reports of hail earlier, but not too bad. Uh, of course, if you're right under, it might have been bad. Uh, for the Saxe area in northeast Dallas County, southeast Collin County, uh, we've man, we've missed out. We haven't got a whole lot at all. Um, now, what I'm looking for this afternoon, hopefully in, in the evening hours, I just want some rain. Uh, so it's not looking good right now. So if we put the radar in motion, and you'll kind of get a, a feel for this. So these are pulse-type thunderstorms. Uh, they can't pulse up to be severe, but they're pulse. So they kind of flare up and then you know pulse up and pulse down. And it could obviously if you're right underneath one it could be pretty bad and of course like us at my house we haven't well i was gonna say we haven't seen a drop of rain but actually we have it's sprinkled it hasn't been anything bad and unfortunately at my house we have missed out on pretty much all the rain so you can kind of see from this radar loop uh, you see several outflow boundaries and that's crashing into each other and that's causing these thunderstorms to blow up uh, we had one come in from the east earlier then we had one come actually not too long ago we kind of barely made it out it kind of went to the west when these or west toward the east for these thunderstorms that are popping up uh, to the west of us and northwest of us so again uh, if you have well actually i was going to say if you had a weather radio you would have heard an alarm go off but actually you wouldn't have heard the alarm go off because are having trouble transmitting uh, the weather radios are not transmitting this afternoon so if you have a weather radio you're not going to see or hear I should say any weather warning so you're going to have to get them somewhere else that's why I thought I'd pop on real quick and give you an update if you saw a severe thunderstorm warning for Dallas County as you can see from the uh, matter of fact I can put up a graphic here that makes it a little easier to see as far as the arrow outlines so you can see if you kind of make that out Saxy not included uh, maybe the very western corner of Murphy, but you got Plano, Carrollton, Richardson, on the way down to University Park, Dallas. You can tell they're kind of thinking the whole storm is going to move to the southwest, and then of course put the radar back on, and you can see it's it's a general motion of to the southwest, and so unless something really changes, uh, it's not looking great for northeast Dallas County. Uh, I'm just looking at the last radar frame here. Yeah, I think I can zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. All right, and so, <laughs> matter of fact, I think I can draw this. Yeah, here, look at that. Yeah, not what you want to see in August, that's for sure, if you live in this part of the world, in this part of the metroplex, I guess. Uh, but as you can see, off to the west, off to the, uh, well, really west, uh, quite a bit of heavy rain. I'm sure when it's all said and done, some of these guys are going to have totals that, uh, you know, are going to be pretty impressive, and unfortunately, we will not be able to share in that, I'm afraid. Okay, uh, again, uh, to wrap it up, severe thunderstorm warning for Dallas, Collin, parts of Collin, Dallas, and Tarrant County, Denton County, I should say, uh, until uh, 6 o'clock. Nothing to be terribly concerned about, but they think that if there is going to be any severe weather, it would be wind uh, greater than 60 miles an hour. Maybe it's a small hill, but if you live in Murphy, Saxe, although Rowlett's got a little storm pop up over it, but North Rowlett, Rockwall, uh, you know, uh, Lucas, uh, areas like that, uh, at least something could pop up and that's, that would be a good thing. But right now we're in the clear, certainly in the clear from the severe weather standpoint, hopefully before this event is up, we will get some rain. After this evening and probably in the morning, uh, it's not going to be terribly hot the rest of the week. Uh, toward the next weekend, it'll be back to summer. Uh, so if you don't, if, if we don't get any rain between now and then, then it might be a couple weeks before we see another good chance of rain like this, but hopefully that will change. All right, I'm watching the weather, so you don't have to. Hope everyone has a great evening, and we will talk to you soon.